I decided I was going to show you videos from up here rather than from my kitchen. And, and I want to make a small pizza for Eric and I later on. So we're going to use what we have here. We have a lot of food, but yet it's not the same as in the city where I have an abundance of supplies on hand. But we're still able to create. So what I'm doing is I'm going to use up some flour that I brought up. Let me see. I don't think Erica and I said, mind you, if there's leftover, I could always, uh, might as well go for it, right? Okay, I'm using whole wheat flour, and this I will bring home so I can fill it up again. Measurements, I'm not going to show you measurements because I never really work with measurements, but you'll have an idea what the texture should look like. But I want to also mix some barley so I am going to blend this up and I'm going to turn it into flour all right and that's how easy and simple that really is so now I have some whole wheat flour I'd say Two cups of that and if we have extra dough we could always use it to make a little naan bread and I have this is a half cup probably have a cup this one just under just under under a cup but it's going to also add different flavors and it's going to add a different texture. Okay, to this we're going to add some salt. I'm going to put about a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of salt. This is Erica's cabin, not mine. Okay, so we're going to put, I'd say about an envelope of yeast there we go and now give this a mix we're going to put some delicious Canadian maple especially the one from Quebec I don't want to brag but it is one of the best maples that you can get so I'm going to put about maybe a teaspoon and a half maybe two teaspoons I go with feelings guys when I cook I don't just cook with recipes and we're gonna put some olive oil and we're gonna add water so I'm using the same container I blended my barley and I am going to slowly add water till I get nice texture a little bit at a time guys remember what I always say right it's easier to add than it is to remove when you do this stuff often enough you know exactly how much water to put in and it just gets easier as you do it but you want your dough to be soft not too stiff if you want it a little stiffer you could do that remember if you find it's too wet for you all you have to do is add a little extra flour let me just wash my hands need this
dripping dough everywhere. Now I'm, I've got some beautiful organic whole wheat flour, so it's not a white flour. It's more of a robust dough. Let me just use my cutting board so I don't scratch your stove. Now we've been up here for how long we've we been up here, Erica? Almost a week. Almost a week, yeah. Another tip guys if you don't have counter space but if you have a glass dough you could actually knead your dough right on your glass dough just make sure it's nice and clean and we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour right on my stove and we're just going to knead this i've got a little bit of ground flax and I could simply take some and just knead it in. And you know, by doing that, you get some fantastic omegas by adding that to your dough. I'm not making bread. I am making pizza for us. And I'm going to show you what I do when we don't have what we need, for instance. We only have one tomato left. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a pizza sauce. Also use your stove top but it's got to be clean like Erica's stove top doesn't have any crusties nothing she's a real stickler when it comes to cleanliness okay here we go now also if you want to see what Erica's doing with her cabin she still has to make a video she's just been so busy but she's gonna introduce her cabin that she just got uh, at the end it was fall time right Erica the end of fall. Okay. We were looking at this place in the summer, but she only ended up getting it in the fall. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, tiny cabin. It's not a big cabin, but I'll tell you something. She has a beautiful, tiny lake. So if you want to see what she's been doing to it, Go visit my The Woods Beyond. You'll probably see this recipe also there on The Woods Beyond. But I wanted to share some of my recipes and how I use what I have when I don't have. Okay, so it's a little dough. And I was able to use some flour. I didn't want to use up all her flour in case she needed it. Uh, because we only have so much flour up here. And if you want to go to the grocery store, it ain't a piece of cake. <laughs> Where she is, is really secluded. So it takes a while to get there. So I decided to take some of her beautiful barley and turn it into a flour. So it's going to take a little longer to rise because barley is not, um, uh, it's a heavier, denser flour. But it's still going to be a delicious pizza. So we're going to put this in our beautiful bowl. And we're going to just put it to rise. I might uh, put it in the oven and see if I could bring it to a very low heat. Not sure how this oven works, but I'm going to try it. Or I'm going to heat up the oven and then just turn it off and put it in the oven. And that's going to help it rise. So I'm just going to cover this. Let me put this aside for now. Let's see how low it could go. 
it goes to 170. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna heat up the oven and then put it in there to rise. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had cookies in there. I wish I made okay. Guys, this is my cookie recipe I have up on YouTube. It's my oatmeal cookies. I have more than one recipe. Uh, Erica was craving. Like I said, the store is not just around the corner up here. You got to drive a ways to get there. So um, we used what we had. And we made some delicious oatmeal cookies for us. We had some yesterday. And these are delicious. They have the crumbled salt on top. Really, really good. And we're going to have this later on tonight. All right, we're going to let this rise, and then we're going to punch it down. Last time we were here, we made pizza, and this is what I used, believe it or not, tomato paste. But because we didn't use the whole container, we put the rest in a little Ziploc into the freezer. So when we need it for whatever dish, we have it. But because we don't have any uh, fresh tomatoes to make pizza sauce, or I didn't bring any of my pasada that I make from home. We have spaghetti sauce, but that's a whole different flavor. Uh, I use tomato paste. Now this is probably not enough. I have to see if I could steal another uh, can from Erica. She has enough of these up here. Remember, this is a perfect item to have in your house because you could do so many things with tomato paste. It's not just for sauce. There's lots of recipes you can make with this. It's basically condensed tomatoes. So when you add some water to it, and you add some spices, and you add some olive oil, you get a delicious okay. pizza sauce, guys. I just want to show you the view that we have in our kitchen. That's the lake down there. That's a garage. That's her forest on that side. That's her property all the way up to the road, but it goes further down. And this is the front, so we get to see the deer come eat. That's the view. Then she has the forest also on that side of the property. And she has the forest down here, near the water on that side. She has a huge balcony. Very proud of her, my little chickie. She's doing really good for herself. Okay, so we're gonna see you in a little bit. My oven is still too hot. I want it to be like a very hot summer day. And right now, it's a very hot, hot summer day. Okay, my oven is still too hot. I put it at 170. I figured it wasn't gonna be that hot. What I did was I left my door open a bit and I brought my cutting board close to the edge and with that heat it's going to help rise my dough. So that's what I'm doing for now and I'm going to make myself, I'm going to show you my beautiful, this is my walnut, walnut, a uh, sour cherry, it's a mix of almond and chickpea cheese. You probably saw pictures of this on Instagram. And I'm going to put a couple of slices on a slice of bread because I am starving. I didn't have breakfast. So that's what I'm going to have. And then we're just going to make the pizza and have a nice either lunch or late lunch. Mm -hmm. My sour crust. Not the best camera setting. I figured Erica wants to, what Erica did, let me see, can I slip it in? Yep, all right. I'm putting, there's my cutting board. I'm putting my bowl on it, and I am gonna put it in the oven. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that should be good now. Okay, so we're going to let that rise. Now, like I was saying, Erica wants to be able to stay longer up here. 
because she has plans. She also wants to maybe uh, rent it out in the future, this beautiful cabin. My niece, Veronica, was up here. Her and her boyfriend spent a lovely time enjoying. It was right after that big snowstorm we had here in uh, Quebec. But the trees were loaded with snow. It was such a beautiful place. We did have problems the week before. Well, the week before she came, we had no power. The storm knocked down trees, and it was a it was a real mess. Um, so we had to come up here and see what we had to do with the food that we did have in the freezer uh, to make sure that the pipes, because we had left the water running for her, we wanted to make sure that the pipes were still good because it was a mess up here. But we ended up staying a nice week because we weren't sure when the next time we were going to be able to come up with the holidays coming. So we ended up staying a little time here and Veronica did get a chance to, oh, let me just do this. Veronica did have a chance to come and uh, enjoy the cabin after all. So she does, I think she wants to be able to uh, rent it out like uh, like an Airbnb, I guess. But she wants to fix it up really nice for whoever comes. I mean, it's beautiful as it is. I don't know why she has to change it, but she has plans and it's her place. And that's what's important, right? I'm here to support her, to help her. You should see us. We're cutting wood, we're making furniture. We're doing all kinds of stuff. But if you go look at my other channel, which will help support me, help support me there. I really need some subscribers. <laughs> I've been at it for a while on that channel and I hardly, I do have a couple of you guys who come and I really appreciate it. You guys rock, you guys are the bomb. Thank you for coming and subscribing there. But come visit me over there. You get to see some of the stuff that we do at the cabin. And hopefully we'll have even better videos there. I'm just trying to find ways of making the videos really beautiful. I'm an old lady. <laughs> give me time, give me, maybe that doesn't sound so good. Give me time because you never know what I'm going to drop. But I'm hoping to make it a better, a better channel, a nicer channel both for this one and the other one. I'd like to also keep it real. I find that a lot of YouTube videos, that's not how real life is. The kitchen isn't that perfect. I like to keep it as real as possible so you guys know that this is how I cook and this is how my kitchen is not always clean, my kitchen is not always perfect. So I do want to keep it as real as possible. Anyhow, I love you. I'll see you in a bit. We're going to make a nice little fast sauce for our pizza. And then I'm going to make what I call my fast cheese. It's like a bechamel. I don't have all the ingredients here, so it will be a bechamel. But hopefully one day I'm going to show you uh, when I'm back at home how I make a fast pizza sauce, a pizza cheese that looks like melted mozzarella. It's almost like a bechamel. Really easy to do. And you could do it last minute. You don't have to say, oh, God, we have no cheese at home. You could still make some kind of cheese. So give me time to show you all of this. I know I made that sausage video, and then I just got busy again. It's not that I'm not making videos for you guys. Sometimes I just don't have the time. But check out some of the recipes I do have, especially if you're new. I know there's a few new people that came onto my channel. Check out my uh, some of the recipes I have up and hopefully I'll have some fun recipes and some good recipes for you guys My other channel is more about what we do outdoors now. It's the winter. So The only thing we've done was we went snowshoeing on the lake. We did um, Uncover the lake for a nice rain But then we got that huge snowstorm and we got like four feet of snow on top of it And just the idea that we had to hand shovel that again because Erica didn't have a snow blower. Ah, that took the life out of me. Trust me, it was a lot of work. But here I am, 65 years old, and I'm doing that. I'm shoveling snow, and we're talking a lot of snow. This is a lot of land to, just to get to the lake, you got to shovel. So it's like crazy, but I'm doing it. It's going to keep me young. It's going to keep me in shape. Um, so, yeah, you'll get to see on my other channel some of the things we do, and hopefully... It'll be more pleasing to the eye as I learn how to do more beautiful videos for outdoors. I want to show you my medicines that I make there, uh, all natural medicines. So do come join me there. 
and if I'm up here I still want to be able to make a, re uh, a recipe and show you guys otherwise you guys aren't gonna get any any uh, any videos from me so I figured since I'm up here I might as well do uh, something. I guess we could use Erica's little Christmas bowl here. without losing a finger. Okay. And we're gonna get a spoon. Okay, so now we have paste. You can't just put this on pizza. It's just, you know what I mean? It's paste. So we're gonna add a little bit of water. And again, a little bit at a time. As you can see, it's still very pasty. This stuff just seems to grow. We're gonna add a little more water. A little at a time, guys. And I didn't use a whole can, so if I did drop in too much water, all I have to do I have to do is just add more paste and now you can see that it's a little more I know I still need water but before I put the water I'm gonna put a generous amount of olive oil you don't have to but you know you're making pizza right and we're gonna put some salt I just want to wash my hands I just want to get this done because if Erica has to go down to record some salt again to your liking guys and you can always sprinkle salt on your pizza right uh, do we have fresh garlic Eric? In the fridge, yes. okay we have some beautiful parsley we're gonna add a little bit a little a little bit a little bit of this okay I'd say about maybe a teaspoon plus and we have oregano. We have black pepper. You should have done it on the table. I know. Next lighting. time. Yeah, my daughter just told me it would have been better on the table. You guys could see better. Oh, see, I learned that, right. Okay, we have fresh garlic. We're gonna put a little bit of that. And look, it's starting to look like pizza sauce. A little bit of maple, very little, because tomato paste is already sweet. Just a little bit, maybe half a teaspoon. Maple makes everything taste good. I take a sip of my coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm a loud drinker. I just realized I'm a loud chewer, I'm a loud drinker, a little extra olive oil, maybe even extra black pepper. And since we have nobody here except for us, a lot of black pepper, and we have some chili pepper somewhere. Chili flakes. We're going to put some chili flakes. Remember, what I put in here, you're not forced to put, right? Starting to look like pizza sauce. Mm. We do need fresh garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, yeah, you could put a little bit of powdered, but I like fresh garlic. I'm gonna put extra. Usually I put oregano, but I've got the parsley going now. And you put as much as you like, right? 
buffet. It's starting to look like the stuff you get on top of pizza. I don't think these people, unless you go to a gourmet pizza place, but if you go to like pizza pizza places like that, I don't think they use like fresh tomatoes. I think they use this. But isn't this great to have at home, right? A little, and I didn't even use all of it. So a little bit of this, you can make pizza sauce if you don't have it. I'm just gonna put a drop of water in here. Very little. I probably need more. And what's good is if you don't use all of it, put it in a Tupperware and put it in the fridge for another day. Maybe you can make pizza pockets for the kids or you can simply put it in the freezer for next time you want to make pizza and then you take it out, defrost it, and you have pizza sauce. Okay. Definitely needs garlic. I usually put a lot of garlic when I'm making a pizza sauce. But we don't have a, a lot up here. Eric brought two heads, but I don't want to just consume it in the pizza. Maybe I'll steal a little. Usually I put like six cloves of garlic when I make a little pizza sauce. Okay, so we're gonna crush the garlic. They were, oh, there's a piece missing there. Oh, here it is. Okay, garlic, garlic, these are small. I could put more than, I could actually put all of them in here. Okay. Here, we're gonna put some fresh garlic. Where's that little knife? Fresh garlic really makes a difference. Okay, still a tad thick for me, so I'm just gonna put a teaspoon maybe. water and we should be good now so there is my beautiful pizza sauce and I used an 89 cents can of tomato paste I didn't even use all of it a lot cheaper than buying those jars of pizza sauce guys all you need is a couple of herbs and you've got it the garlic is gonna sit there now and make everything really really nice I'm going to put this a cover and put this aside and I'll see you later on when we put our pizza together. It's not going to be a fancy, fancy pizza, but I'll see what I have in the refrigerator that we can use as toppings. I know we have some uh, red hot peppers that we froze. We bought cases of it uh, to make um, roasted. I even have a jar of roasted, but we're going to save that. So I'm going to take uh, the frozen roasted peppers. Actually, I should pull it out. Here they are. Maybe one or two, and we'll chop these on the pizza later. And this goes back into the freezer for when we need it. Best artwork, but I made it. Okay. All right, wash your hands. I'm 
want to show you guys. I'm not sure if you can see it. Look how beautiful it's snowing. The deer were, be were here before, but we're supposed to get a snowstorm. All right. This is a little, that's oh, good. usually ask what kind of oil I get. I love this one. I'm not sure if you can see it. That's one. Actually my daughter got this one. Okay. Maybe the small one. I'll do the smaller one in here. again of course and the best part about this is uh, I could slide this right off the tray and put that once it's cooked halfway cooked I could slide it right off the tray and just slip this on the uh, on the grill in the oven on the rack sorry not the grill Okay, so this is going to just sit a bit, and it's going to rise a little more. I'm trying to keep it where I will dirty her tray. And it saves you from cleaning. This stuff is so easy to clean. And you know what the best part is about Erica and I are up here? It doesn't matter what time we eat, what we eat. Just fantastic. Okay, these are the peppers. I'm just gonna cut them a la rustica. like onion. Okay. I have pineapple. That's pizza without pineapple. Oop. I need a bag for the deer. I love this stuff. I waste nothing, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pop that in the mouth. My daughter set herself up and cut a recording booth downstairs so she's able to come for a longer time to the cabin and still able to work. 
which I think is a fantastic idea. And she gets to enjoy her place, her property. Is one enough? Uh, one's is enough. One's is enough. Okay. I have fake tan in the freezer, but it's frozen. So this is another item that I buy when we go backpacking or camping. Uh, yeah, you can have all of those. <laughs> I guess my daughter's gnawing on the pits. Uh, it's another thing that I buy. Uh, sometimes I get them for really cheap, and sometimes they go up really high. You know how Amazon is. They, you pay more than you really have to. But I haven't seen them anywhere else. But uh, you could buy them in slices, or you could buy it in like a mince. And it's all ready for you. So this is something that you could have in your storage at home. Always good to have for emergency use. And we're going to use some of this crumble on top of our pizza. There's so many ways you can you can even crush the soybeans and make it like a paste and then throw that on your pizza. There's many ways of doing it. But this is good to have as emergency food. As you can see, we're far from the grocery store. I mean, we have lots of food, but not much of the fresh stuff left because we were coming just for a couple of days and now it's over. Uh, it's about a week now that we're up here. So our fresh stuff is pretty much going. We still have like a uh, chicory salad, uh, so we a cabbage. I have a few things, but to make a pizza, I want to kind of let it look as authentic as possible as you know when you're making pizza. So this ground is going to be perfect. I have plenty of this up here, plenty of this back in the city. So I'm going to use one of this, and it makes my life easy because I have a package of food ready for me to use. So I could have used my seitan, but it's as solid as the ice on the lake right now. So, this is going to go on the pizza. It's going to be a very simple, simple pizza. Mm. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. What do I need? Yes. I'm going to make a bechamel. I'm going to use some milk. I don't want to make too much. We'll mix in some flour. You can use also corn, not corn starch, tapioca starch. That's a better option. But we don't have tapioca here. So we're going to use a little bit of flour. Just a little bit. And try and mix this one up. I guess I have a whisk here. Just put a little extra. There we go. I do have a whisk so I don't scratch her pot. You could use butter. I'm going to use olive oil. Okay. We're going to add some salt to this. We're going to use what we have because I don't have much up here, but this is still going to work for us. A pinch of onion. Is this the onion? Yeah. Just a pinch. Oh, that's too much. Onion powder. I don't think she has nutmeg, otherwise I would put a little bit of nutmeg. But this is going to work anyhow. It doesn't matter. The whole idea is that... We're going to thicken this up. Okay, we do have handles for this so I don't burn my hands. There's one on this side. Can you put a little black pepper? You know, get creative, guys. Whatever you put in your food. Why not, right? Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty, guys. I shouldn't be walking away from my stove, but... Look at this. How beautiful is this? Oh, 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 oh. And look what we have here, guys. We have a visitor. 
He's looking for food. Erica, did you put food earlier? No. Oh, where'd you put the uh, veggies I gave you? Oh, yes, I put that. Look how beautiful. Tell me this isn't a picture perfect. Erica, come and see. You should take a picture. It's hard to want to go home when you have this. Erica's got her her Nikon for wildlife. I have to put a link. You got to go look at my daughter's photography. It's so beautiful. She wants to be able to make some prints and maybe make a calendar. Just saw some prints. So beautiful. Okay, it's getting thick. I don't want to put too much flour because you don't want it to taste like flour. If I was at home now, I'd have a little bit of uh, blended up cashews and some of the stuff I use to make it cheesy. That's what I need. I need a little bit. Just a little bit of sauerkraut juice. I'm trying to not get the. Oops, there we go. That's even more than I should have put. Mm, perfect amount. I don't have that many pizzas. A little extra olive oil. Let's hope it. Hope it mixes this side. I should have put a little extra in the beginning. Oh yeah, it's going. Very easy. Now you're basically making what you call bacon cheese. High in protein because we're using the soy milk. We use olive oil for fats. You know, cheese has its fats, right? I feel like, what's that guy there with the painting? We're gonna put a little mountain over here. Bob Ross. And a little tree right up in the corner. Oh, maybe another little tree. <laughs> I sound like him so monotone. <laughs> Okay, notice how it's getting nice and thick. Now, if I had used tapioca, it would be more stretchy. I use olive oil. It will have to do, remember? It will have to do. We're not picky eaters. As long as it tastes good. See how thick it is? It's getting even thicker. My poor sister. One of her cats died yesterday. My heart's broken for her. I'm gonna have to call her back after this video. My little Mushu's gone. And he passed away yesterday. Very sad. Unexpected. He was getting old, but you know what? You never expect your animal to die unless you know the animal's very sick. Now, bechamel is great if you're making lasagna, even pasta, and you add, we call this glue. It really makes a big difference if you're making lasagna, and you make a small bechamel like this, and you add it layer by layer when you're making your lasagna. Put some sauce, some bechamel, whatever else you want to put in between your layers, and you start over again. There are pasta, some sauce, some bechamel, and you're going to love your lasagna, let me tell you that. So this is what I use to make a fast, a fast vegan cheese. Now if you want to put cashews in this, which I do. You need very little, you want to blend it up in your milk before you, but you don't want to put a lot because you're going to get solid cheese. So this looks like it's almost there. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, we put that aside and now we're going to start with our pizza. Okay, we're going to start off with a little rustic. Notice how it's already, notice how it's already. 
resin. Hold it there. I want to show them. Okay. Number one. There's two there. Where's the third one? Aren't right they beautiful? In the, driveway. in the driveway. Oh, there's a baby in the driveway. I'm not sure if you can yeah. see him. Do you see him? And now I'm going to show you. Oh, can you? Erica's going to show you what she took. Where is it? Can you see it? Hold on. Oh. Can you zoom up? Look at that face. Beautiful, eh? Like I said, it's hard to want to go home when you have this in your front yard. All right, guys. Let's do this. There's always the sound of camera going in. I have to put a link to her Instagram, guys. Go support her there. Okay, perfect. That's our first one. And we're gonna open up our mints here. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of minced meat. There's actually a lot of it here. Okay. Some onions. Okay, we're gonna put some of these delicious hot peppers. Pineapple. My God, this is gonna be just delicious. What's pizza without pineapple? There we go. And we're gonna put a couple of olives. Green olives. How's it looking, guys? Give me a thumbs up if you think it looks great. Okay, that's that. And now, here's my bechamel. Am I gonna burn my hand? I hope not. I need my spoon. And we're gonna just drizzle some cheese on it. Doesn't that look good? Okay, I'm gonna put that aside and we'll make the other one. It's gonna be like a deep dish pizza. Don't mind my fingers. I work on a paisano, you know what that means? Beautiful. That's that. Start again. Put in our meat. If you're making it for lasagna, don't make it as thick. Not the same type of videos you're used to, but if I want to make videos, I'm going to have to make them from wherever I am, and I figure why not share what I do 
even if I'm not at home and I don't have all the ingredients I need. Remember, as long as you have flour at home and a couple of vegetables, you can make your own cheese just with some milk and some flour. If you have like that minced meat, that's a meat that we keep for emergency. It came handy because when we decided to make pizza, my Satan would never have defrosted enough for me to be able to chop it up and put it here. But I was able to make pizza quickly and we're going to enjoy a delicious dinner. So I'm going to say I love you guys and I'm going to give you one more look of what we get to see every day when we're up here. They know we put food and they gather here every day. Uh, yesterday I think there was about six, seven of them in the, uh, in the yard. But there's our buddies and they're getting comfortable with us. And I have to thank Erica for allowing me to be able to enjoy this beautiful place that she bought. And I hope you're going to get to see a lot more videos from up here. And if you want to see what else we do, uh, go check The Woods Beyond and subscribe. That's my channel. And if you support me there, I appreciate it. All right, guys. I love you and I'll see you soon.